Welcome everyone, in this video I'm going to actually add more things you can actually do with a Joby Gorillapod. So it's been just under a year since I released the six things you can do with a Joby Gorillapod and you guys have comments saying it's helped you guys a lot to figure out ways to use this. I kind of keep thinking of things and this has actually been something I've been thinking about for a while and how to add to this. So I'm actually going to add five other things you can do with a Jollibee Grip. The first thing is, I was actually searching online, and this actually popped out a lot, is actually adding magnets to the tips of here. So you can actually have this stick to a metal object. Now, I haven't done this with this yet, but if you just search like Jollibee Go Pod magnets, it'll pop up. And so that's one thing, another thing you can do is just allow you to actually stick it to a metal object. Number two, now this one is going to be kind of a update to one of the ones I had previous. The previous one I had, you just doing this and the camera's here and you actually use it as here. Now that's kind of cool, but if you don't really have a steady grip here, to add to it is, all you do is bring this up here and hold it against your chest. So this allows you to actually get even more of a grip. And actually a little more sturdy here, bring your arms in, get even more sturdy, and you actually have it against your body so you have three points of contact. So it allows you to be steady with this and you actually do a little more precision shots. So that is number two. Number three. Now this third one is kind of an idea I had. I'm not sure how well it's going to work, but it's an idea that I've had with this. And you do need something with this. Let me go ahead and get that. This one, you actually do need a backpack. Um, I was going to uh, show you guys with my um, hiking backpack, but this one worked fine. And more people will have this type of backpack anyways. I'm going to close it up first. Now, not any backpack will do. You do need the ones that have the straps here for the um, chest. What you do is, basically what you're baking is a cheap um, chest mount. All you do is put this in between here. And there you go. You got a kind of a simple chest mount. You can have, um, you can angle this but you don't really have much movement here so I would recommend this with a small camera um, but you can definitely probably get away with a DSLR um, you just kind of have to keep your head up and maybe angle this so it's a little more down but that's just one way you can actually do it is um, yeah a little cheap body cam so that is use number three number four now this one is kind of an interesting idea that I think could work is um, what you do is you kind of position it so you have it out between the two legs here. Now you have these legs here on a hard surface and you kind of have this out as a handle. And basically what you're using this as is it allows you to tilt the camera very nicely and evenly. And these actually are very rubbery so it will stick on your any type of surface. But this basically just allows you to give it a nice clean pan with the grip. So if you're on like a um, on a bridge and you have like a little ledge here, you can just pop it here, put this out, and basically if you want to do a quick pan, you just, not pan, tilt. So if you want to do a quick tilt, you just do that. So let me give you guys a different angle. That's all. Just a quick little tilting with this. Fifth and final reason I have for this video now this is kind of an idea I got from one of Chase Jarvis's videos. Um, it showed a way he kind of made a um, do-yourself jib. Now you kind of could do it with this. Now you would have to have string, have some paracord, which is always good to have. And you need this. Um, all you're doing is tilting, getting this kind of configuration here. You tie a knot to the grip. There we go. Now what this basically string does, it allows you to move it and allows you to kind of use your arm as a jib basically. I'm going to get in frame here. So basically you're using your arm as a jib and this allows you to actually get some nice shots as you're panning and if you can balance it, you can actually get it to swing pretty good on yourself. So. This basically is using your hands as a counter weight here, and you can control it here. 
and you can kind of, like I said, if you can get a good balance, you can actually do a sweeping motion. Basically, this, yeah, like I said, this basically you're using your arm as a jib. You can kind of get some cool shots because you can actually outstretch it. Let me get it in frame here for you guys. So you can outstretch your arm. And you keep the extra length and you can actually do some cool stuff with the rope. So that's just no reason why I think this is a very useful and versatile equipment. So that was another five uses for the Jolby Grip, which I still love. I think this is one of the best equipment out there for photographers, for videographers. You can just go so many places and get so many great shots with this actual device. So if you guys um, find this video useful or anything, or you have an idea of how to use the Joby Grip and haven't been covered before, please comment below and I will definitely try it out and pass the information along to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget like and subscribe down below. All those buttons are waiting for you. Also, if you want to stay updated, you can also follow me on my Twitter and Instagram page where I post everything there and I hope to do more stuff with the Jolby Grip. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.